What's up nerds and welcome to another Noisy Pixel unboxing. I am your host, Azara Lopez, and today we are going to unbox for you this big beast of a box known as the Near Replicant version, a bunch of numbers, Snow White edition. This is actually the only illustration on the box. The rest is just white some words it says um near replicant snow white edition on the sign i am going to be honest i don't know what the hell is in this thing let's find out together one weird thing about this and we'll find this out later is that the game is not included in here they included it in a separate box so we'll get to that when we get to that but let's get this plastic off first okay okay now it looks like there is a slip cover here. Okay. Get some uh, flowers under there. What kind of flowers are these? I'm gonna say they're orchids. They might be azaleas. Who really knows? I'm not an herbologist or anything. I'm just, just a gamer. What do they expect? Again, all white. Um, I'm not sure. I think it comes up like this. Top comes off. Everything is inside. There's a lot. There's a lot to unpack here. I've never seen a presentation such as this one. So let's let's go from from this big guy. It is a bunch of little books. I think we'll find out. I bought this and I forgot about it, and then it showed up at my door. All I have to say about that. Now, uh, it seems that these are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We have voiceover script for all scenarios. We got main A, main A before two, main B. It's literally the entire. the entire script there. And I think all of these have. Different illustrations on them. So I'll just go through and show you guys the different illustrations. Inside, as you can see, they're all pretty much the same in terms of just writing. So let's just show you the, the illustrations there. I didn't know this was in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe when I'm bored, maybe if I don't catch the subtitles. I can, I can read. I can read what these people are trying to say. There you go. That's that. And then here's the case that it was in. Kind of cool. Script collection. Hmm. All right. Next up, a heavy box of some sort. All right. The top here has some stuff on it. Pop this guy open this out of the way and it's a pin pin badge pin badge I'm gonna tell you what I don't like it's these kind of pins you know the ones that bend on your backpacks you know what's gonna happen with these they're gonna stay in the case and I'm gonna forget about them and then one day my child is gonna stumble upon them in the attic and say God damn, my dad was a weeb. Can't wait. All right, moving on. Looks like a, jeez. Nice shiny reflective box. And this is the soundtrack. And it has some, some words from uh, Yoko Taro and Okabe. It says, uh, so I was thinking I'd like to include two music CDs for the White Snow Edition, an arranged version and a special edited version. And Okabe says, oh nice, with the arranged soundtrack, we get to call it different artists and creators for each song. And they always send in such impressive work. It's enough to make me jealous. I'm sure Nier fans will love it, but what's with the special edited version? And Yoko Taro says, well, I wanted to include a selection of tracks from full soundtrack but I don't think fans will be too excited if it's simply the exact same music. So I think we should alter the compositions. And then, ah, oh, that makes sense. So who's going to make it? 
Yokotaro says, can't you just pop out real quick like you did with Automata? And then Yokobi says, what? No, in Automata, I was able to do that because each song has layers with their own dynamics. But the new replicant isn't built that way. It's studio mix, so there's no way I can attempt something like this without advance notice. Yokotaro says, those poor fans spending all their hard-earned money on the White Snow Edition are going to be disappointed. And Yokobi says, all right, fine, just leave it to me. And that's how the edited version was born. I don't normally read that stuff, but you know, Yokotaro is always full of funny things. Now we have uh, two CDs and they're like in this weird, thick cardboard stock, all in a book. And then we have a still book for the game. It's a still book, flat, has the name on the side there. Let's open her up. Nothing in there, but it looks kind of cool. I approve. Now, to the game. This is the box that it came in. It didn't come in part of the uh, collector's edition. Just get its own little separate thing. So here we go. The game. Moment of truth. Did they include a manual? Now, Square Enix isn't known to include a manual, so I don't have high hopes for this, but. I'm always up to be proven wrong. Plastic off. Got some Square Enix purchase points. I never use that. Ooh, game of the year. Just in case you didn't know, Balen Wonderworld is out and available now. We got a reversible key art here. I like I like this one. What do we got? What do we got here? Let's do roll call. We have Weebass pins, three of them. We have soundtrack, two of them. We have steelbook, one of them. We have English scripts, seven of them. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> it's cool, I guess. And we have a big ass white box. Lilies. That's what they are. And the game. Guys. That's it. That's it for this unboxing. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed discovering this Snow White edition with me and realizing that, hey, maybe I did spend a little too much money on this. But such is life. And here we are at the end. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.